God, this show is awesome. Demon Slayer Kumetsu no Yaiba to the Swordsmith Village. With season three of Demon Slayer fast approaching, Aniplex and Ufotable thought they'd give us something in cinemas just to tie us over for another month. What we have here is the final two episodes of the Entertainment District arc, followed by an extended first episode of the Swordsmith's Village arc. And with the amazing animation of Ufotable, seeing Demon Slayer on the big screen just isn't something you should ever pass up. This will be a spoiler free review for the most part, don't worry, but I'm guessing most people seeing this video would probably have already seen the last season. This theatrical release starts off with a musical intro, just recapping the events of the first season as well as the Mugen train arc, and then we're thrown straight into episode 11 where the landscape of the entire entertainment district changes completely and we head into that big final climax of season two. Even in itself, just watching those final two episodes again on a bigger screen just makes you really appreciate how amazing the artwork is here. That quality going on, especially with the end credits of episode 11, where you're just watching the settling smoke and ash taking place in front of you. It's something I didn't really pay much attention to just on the TV, but watching it here, it's just beautiful and stunning artwork. Speaking of credits, I should probably talk about the one weird thing that goes on with this theatrical release and it's that there's no editing to blend these three episodes together whatsoever. It is as face value as it can be with just watching episode 11, then episode 12, and then episode one. And that includes watching the opening credits as well as the end credits multiple times, as well as the recap bits that you usually get at the beginning of each episode. I know the end credits for these episodes are pretty uniquely presented, which is probably why they didn't want to cut them out, but it definitely doesn't make it feel like you're watching a movie, just that you've all of a sudden got a bigger TV at home, I guess. And I thought it was gonna feel really weird watching a big final act three in episode 11 to the wind down of episode 12, to then a build up of episode one. It's very jumbled compared to what you'd have with a traditional movie where you have the build up in act one, conflict of act two, and then a final climax of act three. But nah, I was wrong with that because episode one of this new season is complete and utter hype. <laughs> it starts off so strong and Ufotable somehow still manages to surprise me with their polish by taking us through this menacing sequence going through the Infinity Castle. They've nailed that blend with 3D animation to make most of this insane design that is this other dimension. And we were teased them slightly in a trailer beforehand, but we now finally get to see the rest of the upper six here. And I just love their designs here. Each one is so unique in both appearance and personality, and it was just great watching them all interact with each other. So many questions need answering. The show is only getting more and more interesting. And I'm just growing to love Akaza just more and more as well. We then into that more traditional build-up of the after events of season two, but then we're pretty quickly thrown into this whole new environment, which is the Swordsmith Village. This extended episode nails being funny, intriguing, and tense in all three sectors. We get a decent intro into the love Hashira, who seems both funny and insightful. I'm looking forward to seeing more of her, as well as a slight tease into the Mist Hashira, who is ever so mysterious even still. And then we get this mental cliffhanger right at the end, which just, oh God, April cannot come soon enough. And it's then finished off with the new opening that we're gonna have for the season. And that was also just incredible. This feels like the season more than any before it, where we're gonna learn a lot about the demons and their system in the shadows. I've managed to stay away from reading the manga, but good Lord, I'm so tempted just to find out some of the answers to my questions. But yeah, anyway, everything I've said here probably isn't surprising at all. And this video is more just to say that if there's a cinema near you showing this over the next couple of weeks and you're a Demon Slayer fan, this is 100% something you should definitely check out. Maybe you've already seen it. If so, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments below. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews on movies, anime and video games. Until next time guys, take care. Bye bye.